everybody. Trash again. I think this is a little dark in here. You could be. Uh, I think the, <laughs> I think I've got the lighting all for it, but I'll fix it in a minute. Uh, finished out the Lost Starter box. Uh, I know. I think I, we talked about this guy and the dog on our last video, but I finished uh, everything out just in time for the weekend here. I'm pretty happy of how all this turned out. <clears throat> Shows me I've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to learn about developing my flesh tones. So hopefully I'll do some research and study and uh, we're just to start working on making more realistic flesh tones for everybody. But uh, in the scope of things, I think they turned out very well and they're going to be more than adequate to play for demo games for people and uh, just to show off... Uh, just for my personal collection, I really, really like them. More than adequate for tabletop. So, and that's all I was really aiming for. So, what we'll do is I'll do a cutaway, and we'll just take a look at the models individually. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, yeah, not going to spend too incredibly long on this one. I know we reviewed it in the last one. This is using, uh, was doing the Zenithal shading, was using the darker color, and then the fading up to the light when I was doing the airbrush base coating on that. Um, I think we went over that, did the... Uh, did the bleach bone teeth and uh, fingernails on that red eyeballs uh, standard pink looks looks pretty good and did the uh, oh object uh, lighting as if the lava was glowing on the rocks so um, I keep moving that out of frame so I apologize I'm doing this manual on the old testers can so um, there's that one let's go ahead and move on this one here is one of the hunters uh, did the same sort of green uh, base cut on that. This is where I started noticing, hey, let's go ahead and do the rip flesh color. Um, did the Vallejo metallics on that. Went over it with some a couple of washes and some inks to make the uh, blood stain effect. Uh, did the same on the teeth and nails as the prior and the base the same. Not a whole lot of difference. Basically, you're going to find throughout the uh, whole set of these, I used a lot of the same color schemes. Um, I may go back and do the shoulders on that one and clean that up a little bit, but uh, otherwise that one uh, is pretty much simple. Let's go to the next one. Pretty much done in the same way, it's just a different pose. Uh, there's a lot more shadow on this guy, so uh, on the flesh tones you'll notice that um, I did more mixing in with brown to more indicate more shade, and then like up here on the top here, it's just more of a, more of a paled out dwarf uh, flesh tone here. With white just to make the highlight and then using the highlight in the face up otherwise done in pretty much the same manner thought it came out pretty pretty nice uh, did the uh, the fade there on the weapons using the metallics base done the same and then uh, I had a little extra red on the teeth because I thought this guy looked like killer croc so I'd go rawr, rawr, and I'd just rawr, rawr, eat your face eat your face rawr, 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 rawr. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's go to the last one. Okay, and this is the Big Daddy. Done a lot of the same way, except it was just a larger model, so I had just a lot more work to do on him. The spines actually push out the uh, the flesh tones there, so I had to highlight them up a little different just to show that they were strenuated. Uh, a little darker tone on the undersides, just as I was talking before. Uh, highlighted uh, raised areas, or lighted areas. Um, uh, what I did a little different on this model uh, was I actually found a store here in town that carries Vallejo pigments. Uh, so I put some burnt skin on there. Um, I just like the fact that it's in a bottle now because traditionally I was just using the uh, Tamiya pigments. It kind of just looked like a like a female makeup kit, and it just if when I was wanting to put rust or something on there, I had to like go in there, dig out with a little mask, or I guess they were mascara brush or whatever the little padded brush is. And finally, I just started using regular brushes, but to get away from these to go to something in a bottle, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that, uh, to have a loose pigment to work with. Um, it does a really good job of getting down in there, mix it out with a little water, put a little uh, Vallejo red ink on there that does a really good uh, blood stain on there. Um, let me see if we can... I did the same thing here on top on that. I think you, the camera actually picks that out. It just makes it look really, really cool. Makes it look uh, stained, bloodied, and uh, I actually put a little ink on his hand to make like he's recently just laid into somebody. So um, it'll be really good for a tabletop standard. Uh, did the base the same way. And then, uh, oh, here, let me roll it around to the front. And then um, I initially did these in uh, like a metallic color. And... Um, 
looking at it again, I thought, you know that, that'd be really cool if that was like a, like a bone color. So I faded that out and kind of did like a, like an old stained bone, like the bones were popping out of his skin. So, um, like Wolverine or something or saber tooth, but yeah, came out looking really, really nice and, uh, was really pleased with the outcome. And so that finishes up that box set. Uh, this week, I'm hoping by around third Friday, Black Friday, while everybody is shopping, I hope to sneak off to the game store and maybe get a demo game in or two. Uh, if I can find Damon or anybody else around um, who wants to get a game in on this coming weekend, um, would be really, really fun. Uh, I'm going to just pack up my minis and take them down there. And, uh, yeah, these are actual my gaming miniatures. These are not just, you know, I'm going to put these on the bookshelves. These are my gaming miniatures. So, uh, anyway, um, that's all for now. Um, I'll catch you all later. And thanks for hanging around and subscribing to the channel. I really, really appreciate you. And, uh, until next time, later. Bye.